Welcome to our channel. In this video we will review some facts about amphibians and reptiles. But before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Can you distinguish between amphibians and reptiles? At first glance, amphibians can appear to be reptiles, and reptiles can appear to be amphibians. It's no surprise that the two are frequently confused. On closer inspection, though, they are easily distinguished. Continue watching if you want to understand more about amphibians versus reptiles, their similarities and differences. What exactly is an amphibian? To further comprehend the confusion around amphibians and reptiles, these two concepts must first be defined. The term amphibian is derived from the ancient Greek word amphibios. The level of toxicity differs between species. The majority of frogs secrete deadly poison, however the toxins are not always fatal. Some, on the other hand, can emit a toxin that can readily kill predators considerably larger than them. The golden poison frog, for example, is one of the most poisonous animals on the planet. This frog, despite its diminutive size, can emit enough venom to kill 10 mature men. Most reptiles, on the other hand, have venomous bites. Reptiles, like amphibians, can manufacture poison. They do not, however, have poison glands on their skin. Reptiles, on the other hand, have a unique salivary gland that produces venom. Reptiles, such as snakes, inject venom through their fangs when feeding. Aside from paralyzing the prey, the venom also aids the snake in digestion. Some snakes will consume larger animals, such as deer, pigs, and other livestock. The venom aids in the breakdown of the prey's tissues, allowing the snake to thoroughly digest it. Reptiles versus amphibians, except for Antarctica, amphibians and reptiles can be found on every continent. Amphibians and reptiles can be found in a variety of environments. They can survive in both deserts and rainforests. Some live underground, while others reside on top of trees. Both amphibians and reptiles can survive in a variety of environments, however they cannot survive in Antarctica's severe environment. Amphibians can live on land as well as in water. While many amphibians live and flourish in water, they can only survive in freshwater due to their permeable skin. Some frogs are salt tolerant, however the majority cannot tolerate high salt levels. Amphibians on land must likewise be cautious of drying out. Frogs frequently resurface, but severe heat can harm them. As a result, they frequently live near bodies of water or in areas with high humidity. Of course, this does not rule out the possibility of encountering amphibians in the desert. Desert frogs frequently crawl underground to avoid the intense heat. The majority of reptiles live on land, but some may also thrive in water. Most reptiles are terrestrial, and they can live their entire lives on land. They hunt, nest, and hatch on land. They do not require water to survive, unlike amphibians. There are, however, aquatic reptiles. Marine iguanas, sea snakes, and sea turtles are a few examples. They, like other reptiles, lack gills. They are, nonetheless, well suited to live in water. They can hold their breath for extended periods of time underwater. For example, marine iguanas can hold their breath for up to 40 minutes. When they run out of air, they must resurface and take another lungful. Aquatic reptiles return to land to lay their eggs. Sea turtles, for example, will swim back to the beach, dig holes in the sand, and bury their eggs there. Reptiles versus amphibians, reproductive behavior. Both amphibians and reptiles lay eggs. Another feature that makes it difficult to distinguish between amphibians and reptiles is the way they both deposit eggs. To reproduce, most amphibians and reptiles must mate. Some organisms, however, can reproduce asexually. The silvery salamander is an amphibian that can breed on its own. The New Mexico whiptail is a reptile that can lay eggs on its own. Amphibian eggs do not have shells. While both amphibians and reptiles lay eggs, their eggs are diametrically opposed. Amphibian eggs lack a shell coating. Instead, a jelly-like coating covers the egg, which appears transparent or white. Amphibians lay their eggs in water, where they are protected from drying out. If the eggs dry up, they will not develop and will die. Tadpoles cannot survive on land, thus the eggs will hatch underwater as well. Most amphibians lay eggs once or twice a year. Frogs can lay hundreds to thousands of eggs, depending on the species. Shells cover reptile eggs. When looking at their eggs, amphibians and reptiles are easily distinguished. Crocodile and turtle eggs have strong shells and resemble bird eggs. Some reptile species, however, lay eggs with softer shells. 
The shells of most snake eggs are fragile and leathery. Snakes, unlike birds, do not incubate their eggs. To protect their eggs, they simply dig holes in the ground or build nests. Lizards, for example, will frequently lay four to eight eggs. Some species, however, can lay up to 50 or even 100 eggs at a time. Amphibians are aquatic organisms as hatchlings. The capacity of amphibians to metamorphose is one of the distinguishing characteristics. Metamorphosis is a transformation process in which an animal passes through several phases before reaching its adult form. Amphibians are aquatic organisms as hatchlings. They develop lungs and limbs as they age, and they become either terrestrial or semi-terrestrial organisms.